Uh, in this video, we're going to try to write an equation when we are given a graph, okay? And again, what is what type of form are we going to write it in? We're going to try to write it in slope-intercept form, okay? So what do we need to calculate? We need to calculate the slope and the y-intercept, okay? Now, in this problem, it's really easy because the y-intercept is given to you, and the slope is going to be pretty easy to calculate as well. So I'm just going to do it in red here. Let's start with the slope, all right? So the slope, we all know is rise over run. We've talked about that many times. So let's just go from one point to the next point. So I'm gonna start at the point furthest to the left. I put a little red dot there. And I'm gonna to go to the next point that I see right there. And I'm just going to kind of make like a little, almost like a triangle right here. I'm gonna count my rise. So if I wanted to go down to that next point, I would go down two spots. So that's my rise of going down two. And then I'm gonna run over one, two, three, all right? So it's rise over run. So that's gonna be your slope. Y equals negative two over three. And then we're gonna put our X right there. That's how you calculate the slope, okay? In this case, it's a pretty easy one to do. Now, the Y intercept's even easier because it's just given to you, right? Whenever X is zero, whatever that value is, that's gonna be your Y intercept. So in this case, it's gonna be that five right there. So we would put plus five. Now, if that, if we didn't know that, or it didn't cross, maybe our line didn't cross the y-axis. We know it would cross somewhere in the future. You could extend the line if you wanted. Um, or maybe it looks like it crosses in between a point. Like let's say it crossed in between five and six, and we have to calculate the exact number. Instead of just guessing, what we could do is we could pick a point that's on the line. You know, for example, we could pick six and one and plug it into x and y to figure out the exact y-intercept as well. And that would be helpful if our y-intercept was maybe a fraction or maybe it wasn't shown in the graph that was given to you. In this case, it was, so we didn't have to plug a point in, but we could use that, all right? Um, hopefully that helps, and thanks for watching.